All right, today we're going to be dropping the MicroPython uh, interpreter on the ESP32S. So, first thing we're going to do is is uh, erase the flash preparation. Uh, you will be using tools that you've already installed in the uh, ESP32 Arduino library. That's a, those are on GitHub. Uh, I'll have a link. So we're going to be using those tools. I'm already at the directory my tools are installed in, which is here. So ESP32 tool, this is the, the tool we'll be using. All right, so this is the command. Uh, we put it in programming mode. So now we're going to, there we go, programming mode. It's erasing the flash. And it's completed. So our next command, we'll put this into programming mode, and then we'll execute the command. And you see it connecting. It's found it. Now it's uploading the MicroPython interpreter. We're using pretty good baud rates, so it should be pretty quick. Done. Okay, so now we've launched uh, PuTTY, and I've connected to COM7. Uh, we're going to uh, reset the now the newly programmed uh, module with MicroPython, and we're going to see what happens. So it starts up, and voila, we have a REPL prompt. So at this point, we're in uh, the embedded MicroPython, and you can see some information about it. Okay, so we now have MicroPython installed. So one of the first things that uh, you'll want to do is just uh, import the machine configuration. So once you do that, you can do a, a quick help on the machine. And this will tell you the peripherals that are available for access by MicroPython. So you'll notice one of them, of course, is PIN. So we can do something like LED, and uh, so that is in the machine. It's a pin, and we're going to we're going to use the LED that we have here, right? So it's sitting on I/O port 13. So 13, and then we're going to define uh, what mode that uh, pin is going to operate on. So it's machine, it's pin. And we want to do it in output. So now, once you've defined that LED, now you can do this. Just say LED1. And you can see we turned on the LED. And then, of course, the opposite, LED0. So now we have a, a fully functional MicroPython embedded machine all in a small ESP32 package.